Hey guys, quick update here. If you've just updated to tvOS 17, there are a couple settings you may want to change, especially if you're using something like a Harmony system. First of all, if you do not want CEC turned on, which many people don't, even if you're not using a Harmony system, check yours because some, including mine, have defaulted it back to on. Go into your settings, down to remote and devices, and then you'll see down control TVs and receivers. Mine was on after the update, just turn it back to off. The other thing is a change in your Harmony system. Now Harmony may or may not update this, but the default before tvOS 17 to power off the system, the default commands that come in your Harmony routines was to trigger the control panel and the power was automatically selected. So it looked like this before. And then the Harmony power off command was simply a select and it would put it to sleep. Well, you can see the default now is to go up to control panel. So it only selects the power button, but I didn't actually turn it off. And shout out to MJ Wagner in the AVS forums for noticing this. I didn't notice because I looked at mine and well, no power lights off. Mine's working fine. That's because I have a blackout sticker on it. <laughs> I forgot it was there. So I didn't notice that the power light was still on after the Harmony routines were shutting everything off. And he did notice that. So all you have to do is add one more select command like this. So in your mobile app, go to the hamburger menu in the upper left, Harmony Setup, add Edit Devices and Activities, Devices, Apple TV, Power Settings, Next, Next, Power Off, and here we need to add that second select and you need to make both the selects one second long. So just make your screen match here. You're just gonna click add step, find select, make it one second. Then you're gonna go back in the upper left and click the upper right next and it will sync your changes. That's it, hope it helps.